This is amazing. We're here at the blue. Is it Wild Blueberry Festival? Main Wild Blueberry Festival. Main Wild yeah. Blueberry Festival. Now you're a blueberry farmer. I. We do have blueberries. We used to yeah. hand rake them. We yeah. now lease the field, so somebody comes in and rakes it with uh, harvesters, yeah. harvesting equipment. Yeah. Um, amazing product. It is a wild blueberry. They grow yeah. naturally. Uh, you take the fields that we have. We have about 70 acres of blueberries. Yeah. And every other plant in there is considered a weed. Yeah. Even though it's a tree or whatever. No, let me ask this question. There is a weed, speaking of weed, is mm -hmm. cannabis a strain called blueberry? Wouldn't have a clue. And, and it tastes just like blueberry. I was wondering what you knew about it. Yeah, I it, It's regional here to Maine. It's like a Maine strain. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this question. Is Maine, how, in terms of exporting blueberries of all the states, is Maine one of the largest states? I would assume is one of the bigger ones. I know Washington County is considered the blueberry capital, I believe, mm -hmm. of, uh, of blueberries. <coughs> and it's what we celebrate here today at the Blueberry Festival. I see, I see. Now, there's some significant uh, blueberry companies here in Maine. Yeah. Uh, what's the biggest blueberry company? That's a good question. Uh, I think if you ask any of them, they'll consider themselves yeah, the yeah. biggest blueberry company. Yeah. Um, I know there's some that are here in Maine that are actually owned by Canadian firms. I see. Um, so as far as who the biggest is, I don't know, but I know our field is the best. Yeah. What do you think of alpine blueberries versus like, you know, Alpine, you about the high bush the, the ones that grow in the mountains. They're the bigger, ones. bigger blueberry. To me, they aren't as sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they're more tart. The more tart. Yep. To me, the main wild blueberry, there's nothing like it in the world. They're highest in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. um, very good for you, very healthy for you. Yeah. Um, I know I don't need enough of them. I should. Do people have proprietary, like, strains of blueberries? Are there, like, varieties of blueberries? I know on our field, we have white blueberries. Mm -hmm. We have blue, blue, blue blueberries. Mm -hmm. And we have red blueberries. And my daughter often knows where the patches are. Go and pick those. And she makes a patriotic pie out of them. Pie, That's very really cool. How, how hard is it to get blueberries growing if you don't have any? They growing? grow naturally. They do. Um, you take basically uh, a lot of the land that it grows on is a very uh, sandy soil. There's not a lot of topsoil on it. So the same kind of places that they'll go and dig a gravel pit because the, the soil underneath comes from the glaciers. Yeah, uh, yeah. As they melted and it's these big sand uh, mm -hmm. gravel pit deposits that yeah, they yeah. grow on. But they grow wild. You can go in most of the woods around here and you can find blueberries in the woods. And basically the way you make a blueberry field is you clear out all the trees or whatever that's in that area, the bushes, mm -hmm. and the blueberries will take over that area. It takes a little time to do it. Do a lot of folks in this area work in the blueberry industry? Quite a few do. Um, I can remember, because I was in it, the, my earliest age of doing blueberries, I was seven. Oh yeah. And I learned early, I didn't like raking, because we have hand rakes, you hand rake, and I really didn't like hand raking, so I learned to run a crew. Mm -hmm. And we had, I think, as many as 80 people on a crew raking for us, and we'd have families, kids, out in the fields, it was a great way for a kid to learn the value of a dollar. Oh yeah, not, and, but they don't do that now because there's age restrictions. Sure. And so now a lot of people have gone to uh, mechanical harvesting. Yeah, it's gotten very restrictive with that piece, yes. hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, and it's too bad yeah. because the kids were earning money for yep. the school clothes. Yep. I used to think it was funny that most of the kids were raking money for school clothes in the school clothes that they earned the money for the year before. Ah, uh, yeah, that's funny. So, uh, my last question for you, sure. a blueberry expert, what's your favorite way to eat blueberries? What do you like to put them in? I like a pie. I know some people like it fresh, and I actually had one of the best fresh pies in my life. I yeah. shouldn't say in my life, but it was an excellent blueberry pie. A friend of mine made them, and it was a really delicious pie. Uh, but I like a cooked blueberry pie, a two-crust blueberry pie, which is nice. But there's many many ways to have them. Sure. Like you said, I've grown up with them, so I'm kind of spoiled. Yeah. Eating a fresh blueberry, you know, I was around them, I moved them along. Oh, yeah. But uh, I like a cooked pie as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Now, what's your farm? Do you want to talk about your farm? Uh, the farm we have, it's called Mackenzie Sprague Enterprises Incorporated. We're yep. out in Jonesboro. Yep. Um, and then this year, I think we're raking our smaller piece. Yep. Kind of amazing on blueberries, you, you prune it one year and then there's no blueberries that grow and it takes two years for the berries to come in on uh -huh. those fields but if you don't prune them they don't come in as well i see that's so. part of the part of the keeping it going yeah all right man appreciate you taking Perfect the time sure. to talk to me have a good and i'm day. happy to be here at this amazing event <laughs> thanks brother have a good day you too